Hello everyone, welcome back to Bing Chef Hassan Kitchen. Today I'm gonna cook a lamb burger, which is simple dish and a delicious. So I'm gonna show you in this video what is the mixture and what ingredients required for the mixture of lamb burger and the relish sauce which is gonna give you nice flavor to the burger and some lettuce, tomatoes and some olive oil, parsley so that let's start with the burger now so before we start the burger I just wanted to show you here I have a lamb mince so for the lamb mince I, I, I'm gonna add some shallots, garlic and chili you can use any kind of meat you can use beef mince, you can use chicken mince but it should be mince for the burger I'm big fan of lamb so that's the reason I'm gonna use uh, lamb mince well as I said I'm gonna show you the ingredient what ingredients required for the mince burger so here I have a lamb mince so and I'm gonna chop some shallots make sure it's finely chopped And one cloves of garlic chop as well you can just smash it Here you can see my chopped garlic I'm gonna take some fresh parsley straight away from my garden Wow so fresh roughly chop add some black pepper guys and salt here you can see I have a lamb mince, garlic, shallots, chopped parsley, salt and pepper. Just to just a touch of olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil, extra virgin. Well guys, this is how it should supposed to look the mince burger now I'm gonna transfer this in a round ring so that it, it has a nice round shape so that it should uh, it fits in a burger bun for that you just need a round mold you can use anything whatever you have available at home you don't have to go and buy such kind of mold ring make sure you press it so when you cook the burger, it should not break. Here you can see. Nice round shape of the burger. I'm gonna put this in a resting rack.
So now I'm gonna show you how to make a relish sauce. For relish sauce, we need chopped gherkin, chopped capers, and chopped shallots. You can use onion also. So here I have already chopped some shallots, capers, and gherkin. Now we just need to add ketchup. Here I have ketchup and few drops of Tabasco. You can use red Tabasco as well but I'm gonna use green because I'm big fan of uh, green Tabasco. Few drops, five six drops, salt which is really really important salt always salt pepper salt pepper mix well mix 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 so that the salt dissolves in sauce To give some fresh flavor, I'm going to use again from my garden chopped parsley. Chop, fine chop and add to your relish sauce so that you have a nice fresh flavor of a parsley straight away from my garden. Mix. This is how it looks, the relish sauce. This is how it should look, the smoky pan, what hot, really very hot pan. So that your burger should not stick to the pan and caramelize equally. Here you see nice caramelized burger, hot hot really hot pan, now I'm gonna transfer this in a tray and cook it in oven for 180 degrees for 5 minutes. I'm going to cook this burger for a medium well. So medium well, at least you need 5 minutes. So this is the cheese what I'm going to use. Uh, it's a brie cheese. You can see it's a very soft cheese. You can use any kind of cheese, burger cheese, like sliced cheese, whatever available near the supermarket. But for me, I really love this cheese it's a soft and nice smell it's really good I'm gonna start with the burger now so here I have a burger buns you need to put the relish a nice amount of relish all over the bun so each and every bite you have a relish then I'm gonna put lettuce baby jam two slices of tomato if you guys like onion you can put onion also this is how it looks the cheese on the burger on the other side as well you need to put the relish so put the relish on the other side of the burger bun as well the relish is very 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 important dish important sauce I mean to say for a dish then I have a gherkin here is our burger 
and I have some nice green mix salad you can use any lettuce any carrot whatever you have in your fridge so that you, whatever you wanted to read out of it so I use some cherry tomato baby jam and some rocket leaves you can see the burger If you guys like my recipe and the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And keep watching Bing Chef Hassan Kitchen. Thank you.